All right, today's project is I'm going to tear apart this uh, cabinet that we pulled out of the pole shed last week. It's been sitting in there for about 20 years, so it's not worth much anything. Now I'm going to break it down and uh, see these, this wood right here on the end of it. I'm going to use that for my folk art and uh, probably some of that wood on the top. And then on the inside of it, there's some shelf board in there that we're going to pull out of this thing and uh, take it up to the uh, tractor shed that me and Ricky built and put on the walls up there. So, got a little bit of work to do out here. Tear this baby down and recycle it. About halfway through the demo on this cabinet. I think it's about 10 feet long. I stood it up on its end to try to get to it a little easier and I couldn't reach the top of it. So, that's a pretty beefy cabinet. See these long boards right here? Those are going to be the shelf boards that we'll move up to the tractor shed up there. I'm going through all of this because I really want this weathered board over here. That's the board I want for my folk art. So, taking all this other stuff apart and, you know, setting it up to the tractor shed because that's what I got to do to get the boards I want. Alrighty, back to work. Now look here, you see this, uh, this piece of wood I pulled off of there. It's got these holes where these uh, carpenter bees go in and Can you hear that sound? It's like I have disturbed them little puppies in there. And they're wallowing. I got a feeling there's some really great fish bait in this thing. So I'm going to hold on to it. Alrighty. Mission accomplished. This here is the uh, my take on the booty. Got some wood in there that I'm going to be working with. Over here you see those long shelf boards. We'll be moving those up to the, the tractor shed later today or tomorrow. And then over here we got the stuff that the scrap that will probably just end up burning. So there you go. I'll be using that in uh, some renovations I'm gonna be doing in the back of uh, Bruce as well as making me some folk art. Alrighty, I'm gonna go get lunch now. I'm hungry as hell. And this is recycled cabinet. Yep. You can see I have these signs here that I've made, those boards that I took off the edge and off the top, I cut those down, turned them into signs. Give you a little closer look here so you can see what they look like. And then uh, at the top of this picture you see those two shelves there. Those are uh, wall hanging. I've got brackets on the back to hang those on a wall and I'm putting uh, some hooks on them, coat hooks on them, and that's going to be a wall-mounted coat hook. Completely recycled, got a couple of pieces of wood in there. Uh, you see the supports on the bottom. This here is the second life of that cabinet. I call this my pole shed collection because it all came from that cabinet down the pole shed. And you can see right next to my signs and uh, my wall hanging coat racks, I've also got my walking stick collection. Uh, I call this my poison oak collection. That's the pole shed collection. This is the poison oak collection because while I was out in the woods roaming around cutting down the trees that I was going to turn into these walking sticks, that's when I encountered my poison oak which turned out to be such fun to deal with for a week. So this here is my craft. Uh, the way that I fund myself while I'm making this trip is I make things and sell it at various locations and this weekend I'll be at the flea market. So, stop by, say hi, and if you buy anything, I'll sign it for you. I'm not sure how I'm going to sign those poles, but I will find a way. All right, all of this stuff, especially the, the stuff from the pole shed, is now recycled and is going to live on and it's going to be looked at. How marvelous is that? 